It's true, Fire Staff is the best weapon in the game right now. Is it actually? I mean, maybe. It is incredibly popular and incredibly good in PvP, and uh, lots of people are using it. Maybe you yourself play a Fire Staff build or you hate fighting against them. But it's not just the weapon, I think, that makes it the best weapon in the game. Maybe that doesn't make a lot of sense, but there's so much more to the weapon than just what it can do in the sake of balance and combat. But what you can build with this weapon, Fire Staff is the only weapon in the game that you can mix with every other weapon except for Bow and Life Staff. It has effectively the most build diversity out of any weapon in this game. And as someone who really likes Fire Staff as a ranged weapon, in fact, it's my preferred weapon choice when I'm pairing it with another melee weapon. Um, I just really love being able to play it with Great Axe, and I can't wait to get my hands on the Inferno. Unfortunately, it's locked behind the Mutated Dungeon, and I didn't get it uh, earlier on in the patch when I had the opportunity to, so I have to wait, but... Yeah, let's talk about it. That Inferno really opens up a ton of builds for Fire Staff, and a lot of people have different ideas about how good or bad this weapon will be. But I genuinely think the Inferno is going to be a really good weapon, not only because you take what Fire Staff can do and you pair it with really amazing strength weapons and you get these combos like Fire Staff Warhammer that can stun people and just deal tons of AoE damage, but on top of it, the fact that the staff itself is actually going to be scaling off of strike damage, this is a huge deal. I think the big argument for why the Inferno maybe isn't a good weapon is that you look at all of the damage passives that you get from going Intel, and you think, oh man, I'm not getting as much going down the strength road, but when you actually add up those numbers, the strength road is only 5% less light attack damage and 5% less critical damage, so when you go the strength route, you actually don't give up a lot of those base damage modifiers, but you get your damage type to actually be strike. Hear me out guys, strike could be an incredibly good range damage type. Nobody's building against strike damage, first of all. Second of all, uh, most people are running Ellie Aversion right now, and strike damage is going to go right through that. And in my opinion, that leaves the only real downside to the Inferno is the fact that the dot doesn't scale properly from strength and is instead scaling from intel. Uh, I think this is a bug on the weapon, I don't know if they fixed it, because again, I don't have the weapon, but if they can fix that, yeah, that would be really solid damage over time, you're only really missing out on that 35% additional duration from the intel tree, but if you're hitting harder with the initial hit, the dot itself will do more damage. Now, you can't put a gem on the inferno, but you do get that damage bonus to anybody that's close to you. I still feel like at a distance, because it's strike damage, we could be looking at a pretty viable fire staff setup for any strength build, but yeah, if you guys have the Inferno and you've been able to test some builds, please let me know what you think about it and what your results have been damage-wise um, up close and at a distance. I am very curious to try the Inferno by putting Empowering Fireball on my gear and seeing if I can still get some pretty good damage on those combos. But when I look at the gameplay here, for example, I'm just looking at my Fire Staff damage and thinking to myself, everybody here is building at least 10 to 20% resist against this type of damage that I'm throwing at them. So if this was all strike damage, what kind of a difference could this make? Yeah, definitely something to think about. Anyway, I think that because Fire Staff just has all this AoE pressure, all these burns, it makes it such a good choice for PvP in general because you can put out a ton of damage to basically everything around you, and you have all that utility from Burnout as well. It just makes Fire Staff a great pairing for basically any weapon that you pair it with. I. I really don't know what Fire Staff would be a bad option to pair with. It's just good all around. So, yeah, I, I guess what I'm saying is that, yeah, Fire Staff is a really good weapon, but I like it. I like that it's good and viable in basically any build and weapon combo and that we have that option this patch. And it's something I would love to see more from Amazon. Um, I don't know when we'll see the next artifact weapons, but... Man, I really hope they add more weapons that have that unique scaling factor to them. Anyhow, uh, I've gone on long enough about the Fire Staff. Seriously, guys, I love what they're doing in this game. I can't wait to see what they bring in the future. Um, but these fights here, I had some decent fights today. I don't know, I hadn't played in a few days, but I got back on. I actually streamed today, and you guys might be able to catch some live streams from me this week if you check out my Twitch channel. But I got in a great kind of 2vx with this friendly player here. We got a ton of kills, and I 
go down just trying to take the last guy down there too much range pressure coming in and man this fire staff rapier build i swear all this life stealing the shirking heals and then the combination of these weapons i'm just like zerg diving like crazy i'm getting just terrible opr scores because i keep diving in the zerg but every time i go in man i almost get a kill every time and there's like 10 players trying to kill me the whole time I don't know, it's just so exciting. I can't stop playing this build. Oh my god, there you see the damage, the lifesteal, and I'm able to just fence off that kill and also keep myself at full health for when this guy comes in. Do a great job reading his incoming spear attacks and the friendly jumps on top of him. And that big damage from the fireball. There's the connection with the uh, burnout into the heavy attack and I do manage to take that guy down. And well, I'll let you guys enjoy the last bit of this clip. I know a pretty short video today. I didn't get a huge amount of gameplay in and I want to save those good fights for that build video. Thank you guys so much for watching though. If you want to catch me live on Twitch, there's a link down below for you. And when I do finish this build, you'll be able to find a written guide on my website, pvpnewworld.com. There are a bunch of other builds on there if you guys are interested. And of course, if you have an awesome clip you want to send in to the New World Top 5, you can send that to Christopher at pvpnewworld.com. Best of luck to you guys. Big thank you to our sponsor, ExpressVPN, keeping you safe on the internet, and uh, you guys can get a deal with them thanks to the link down below. And last but not least, a big thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon for supporting the show. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Hope to see you all again, and have a good night, everybody.